Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I thought I'd just do a quick video uh, updating on the, the modified mass air meter. And uh, the answer to the question is of whether it can be uh, calibrated and, and be accurate. The answer is yes. I spent probably two, two and a half hours driving. Uh, light throttle, uh, light load, heavy load, and full throttle. I went through the entire RPM range and uh, I got it down to on the low end it's it's probably between one and two percent of being uh, hundred percent accurate and then above 3500 clear to red line it's within half a percent and that's actually the most important part is up top because uh, idle and and low rpm driving when i turn the factory o2 sensors back on they'll, they'll take care of that driving part anyway so uh yes yes it can be calibrated and uh it's actually calibrated better now than what what it was before i modified it because i didn't spend as much time uh calibrating it before so uh was it worth it uh i didn't need it on this car i don't make enough power that the mass air meters uh, restriction but i just wanted to see if it could be done i don't think it, pro it probably won't add any power to this car but in the future if i ever get like uh another uh aftermarket cylinder heads and a fast intake with a larger throttle body then yes it will uh, make a difference once i have have those modifications done right now it probably hasn't added much of anything if anything but it's at least it's reading accurate so i know guys i just want to let you know that it can be done uh it's not something that i would do on a dyno because it costs you a fortune you'd have to be on the dyno quite a long time to get to get it just right but uh anyway i just thought i'd let you know what happened and uh how it turned out and uh we'll catch you in the next one